She really doesn't remember much about that day. I don't remember nothing about that day. I have no memory from that day. Um, the, uh, she was having some symptoms. We had gone to the doctor earlier. Um, we had been told it was gastric reflux because she has a history of gastric reflux. And we also learned that that's a common diagnosis for the, for the symptoms she was having. But they were getting worse. So um, we decided that we would go to the emergency room. So we, we were on our way to St. Elizabeth and about uh, two minutes from here, she grabbed her chest and bent over in the vehicle and said, oh my God. And um, so I just knew it was bad, didn't know exactly what it was. Called 911 um, and uh, just was flashing thoughts, you know, no real logical thinking, just kind of uh, intense situation and uh, thought of the firehouse. And I yelled to 911 that, that we'll, we'll meet, we'll go to the firehouse. So we got here, and as soon as we got here, they were having a picnic here. Grabbed her out of the car, put her in the back of the ambulance, put me in the front, and then Jim Bell, the police chief, uh, came to me and said we got her back. Uh, and then they decided to call air care. To uh, once we landed, actually, the fire department shocked her once and got her heart beating again. She wasn't very responsive for us, so we put a breathing tube in for her, uh, and her blood pressure was rather uh, low on the way to, to university. But otherwise, you know, she was breathing a little bit, her heart was beating, but it was still kind of shocking. It was a very serious situation. They really didn't think she was going to make it, and uh, she did. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just feel like it was a miracle. We feel like God blessed us. Uh, gave us the right people, put us in the right situation. These aren't the cases we do a lot. I, I think when people look at the helicopter, they think about trauma. But in this case, I think everyone's decisions that day made a difference. Him actually bringing her to a fire department instead of trying to get to the hospital. The fire department recognizing that she needed to go to a cath lab yesterday uh, on that day really quick. Um, and them shocking her so effectively and so quickly really made a difference in her outcome. Because uh, we got her back to, the, to UC, it's a you know, seven minute flight, uh, and, and she was evaluated in the cath lab in, in you know, no time at all. So that, that's really the way these need to work. Um, so it was just a, a great case altogether. How does it feel to come out here today and get to meet everybody that was a part of it? Oh my gosh, I am so grateful to all of these people. Uh, and so grateful that God put me in a place where all these wonderful people could help me. Uh, I feel so blessed by God and so good to even know and get to meet and thank people that has done so much for me. I, I, I just, it's almost more than words can say. Oh, well, it was great. I mean, just to, uh, you know, it's been a significant thing in our lives, of course, and to just meet the people that were involved um, where we could actually thank them and she could hug them, I could hug them, and um, listen to them, to, to, for them to tell us what, what they did. It was just, uh, it's, it's a great event. It's kind of like a celebration that we yeah. can celebrate her recovery. Did we thank the helicopter people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ride in a helicopter here in a few minutes, and that's not something I ever thought I'd wanna do. But they said they wanted to take me for a ride, and I'm going, so. Yeah. She's going to be conscious this I'm time. I'm going to be conscious. Yeah, the last time I was not conscious. We're just thankful to be here. Thanks. Thank all the people. Uh, thank you, C. Thank the staff. Uh, thank God. Just thankful.